Okay, so I just finished book five of Lockwood and Co. And there's so much I want to talk about. <laughs> First of all, and I know I've said this for every book so far, this was by far my favorite book yet. This book was just downright phenomenal. In fact, I loved it so much that I completely forget everything I was going to talk about. So give me a second while I take a look at my notes. Okay, item one's really quick. Uh, the Skull is my favorite character. By far. If you know, you know. Item two... I love a good espionage, like when they're all in the It was such a good espionage scene, it felt amazing. Next, I don't know what article I read on the internet that was like, yeah, they leave it open to interpretation what Lucy and Lockwood's relationship is or going to be. No, they don't. That's just straight up wrong. It's quite clearly where they're going with the relationship, and you know it. Like, maybe we don't get specific moments of romance, but come on. The lines are there, and there is a lot of writing between them. <laughs> Next thing I have written down is, Ha ha, when capitalism threatens to end the post-apocalyptic world for the second time. And I think that's just self-explanatory. <laughs> I also have, by the end, it was basically just Home Alone, but Ghost Edition. Like, the scene when they're in the house and the- It's just- one of my favorites. Spatially it was great and really well done and just visually vibe wise it was home alone and it was amazing. <laughs> Next note, why does no one check for a pulse? Seriously, come on it's like the fourth time people. Final thing, until reading this book I don't think I'd ever seen a real proper book resolution. Like The final confrontation happened and we still had 60 pages left because that was how much we had to talk about, how many new interactions we had to see. We got to see everyone's reactions to what happened. And it was so well done. Even with the loose threads at the end, I was satisfied. And that's a testament to a really phenomenal book resolution. So I guess that wraps it up for Lockwood & Co. Sabuna.